So today we're going to move on to Law of Sines and using this law to solve sides of a triangle and angles of a triangle. So in any triangle ABC, sine A over A, so sine of this angle over this side is equal to sine B over this side equals sine C of this angle over this side. So now that we know what the law is, let's you do some examples. So they want us to find C. So just so you know that when we do these problems, we don't have to have all three things equal. As long as we have sine of A over a equals sine of b over b and then we can cross multiply to solve for them. So I'm just gonna set up two eight two two equal fractions to cross multiply. So sine of twenty five oh no not sine of twenty five okay we only have the measure of this angle, so that means we have to use this angle pair and this side pair. So we're going to have sine of 35 over 20 is equal to sine of this angle but we actually have to know what the measure of this angle is. So say the measure of this angle is 62. So sine of 62 over C. Now we're going to cross multiply sine of 35 times C is equal to 20 sine of 62. To solve for C we're going to divide sine of 35 over and we're going to plug it into our calculator just like that. So we're going to put parentheses around 20 sine of 62 time, and then we're going to divide it by sine of 35. And if you plug it in the calculator, you should get 30.787. Remember, we're always going to round to the third decimal place. So let's do another example. So we know Okay. So we're trying to find C and we know this angle and this side and this angle. So we're going to say sine of 10 over 6 is equal to sine of 150 over C. Multiply both sides by C. Sine of 10 is equal to 6 sine of 150 because we cross multiplied and we're going to get C is equal to 6 sine of 150 over sine of 10. So when we put it in a calculator we're going to do parentheses 6 sine of 150 parentheses parentheses divided by sine of 10. And if you do that, you get C is equal to 17.276. And since we're given units, 17.276 meters. And that's all we're going to do for today, but make sure you come back because we're going to move on to proving that a parallelogram is a parallelogram.